The worst pitcher of all time, today on Sunday Baseball. Hey sports fans, it's Sunday Baseball with Indy Idol. Somebody has to be the worst pitcher in all of baseball history, and we're going to find out who today. Now, baseball has been played at the professional level since the 1860s, so there's been a hell of a lot of pitchers. One of them is worse than any other one. Now, it might seem tricky to say who at first, since baseball's gone through so many different eras. You've had hitting-dominated seasons when the greatest hitters put up these incredible, fantastic numbers, and the great pitchers, not so much. On the other hand, you've had pitching-dominated seasons when pitchers put up numbers that make you go, seriously? Serious? Seriously? Seriously, Larry. 1968, for example, was an amazing pitcher's year. Denny McLean won 31 games. Bob Gibson threw 13 shutouts and had a 112 ERA. Don Drysdale threw six straight shutouts, all in a row for 58 consecutive scoreless innings. And at the bat, Carl Yastrzemski hit 378 in the month of September to bring his season batting average all the way up to a whopping 301, which is the lowest batting average ever to lead the league in batting. In fact, no one else in the entire AL managed to hit above 290 that year. Seriously? Seriously, Larry. That is a pitcher's year. 1930, for example, was a major hitter's year. Chuck Klein in 1930 hit 386, slugged 687, hit 40 home runs, drove in 170 runs, and had 250 hits, and he led the league in nothing. None of those things. He didn't lead the league in any of that. That's how much hitting was going on in the National League in 1930. In fact, the league as a whole hit 303, which was two points higher than Carl Yastrzemski hit in 1968. That is a hitter's year. The 1930 Phillies hit 315 as a team and still finished in last place, losing over 100 games. How? Well, they scored an average of over six runs a game, but their pitchers were so bad that they gave up more than eight runs a game. So you might look for the worst pitcher ever on their pitching staff, and it was bad. It included Claude Willoughby, who was known as both Flunky and Weeping Willow, which speaks volumes about his pitching skills, but you will not find the worst pitcher of all time there. You might look for the worst pitcher ever on the 1962 New York Mets who lost 120 games, but you will not find the worst pitcher there. You won't even find him on the 1916 A's who had two pitchers who went 1-20 and 1-16. and 16. The worst pitcher ever is also not Hugh Mulcahy, whose nickname was Losing Pitcher. Hugh Losing Pitcher Mulcahy. He was still not the worst pitcher of all time. No. There is one pitcher who is worse than all of those pitchers. Now, now, in order to describe this guy, I'm going to use a comparison, okay? I'm going to pick a really, really good pitcher, a great pitcher. I'll pick, I'll say, okay, Roy Halladay. Roy Halladay's a great pitcher. One of the best, if not the best pitchers of the last decade. Roy Halladay won two Cy Young Awards. He nearly won two more. He threw two no-hitters in the same season. One of them was a perfect game, and the other one was in the postseason. Nobody pitches like that. So Roy Halladay is a great, great pitcher, okay? So, in order to compare, you guys ready? So on the one hand, you've got Roy Halladay. And on the other hand, you've got... Roy Halladay, because there is no other hand, because Roy Halladay is the worst pitcher of all time. Serious. Don't even say it, Larry. Don't even say it. I'll tell you how. Okay, in the year 2000, the 23-year-old Roy Halladay pitched 67 innings and gave up 80 earned runs for a whopping 1064 ERA, which is the worst ERA of all time for any pitcher who ever pitched more than 50 innings in a season, making Roy Halladay officially the worst pitcher of all time. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, in the entire history of baseball, pitcher's years, hitter's years, any years, no one has ever had a worse ERA than Roy Halladay had in the year 2000. This is going out to all you pitchers out there. Now you might be in Little League, you might play amateur baseball, semi-pro ball, minor league ball, you might even be a major league pitcher. I just want you to realize that you, whoever you are, are not as bad as Roy Halladay once was. And that means that you too may one day win two Cy Young Awards. That's all for today, but we will see you next Sunday for more Sunday Baseball. Now please click the subscribe button down there and you will make me and Larry very, very happy because you will see us each and every Sunday. That's all I got, isn't it? That's all I got? I think that's all I got. Oh, Larry, am I, am I done? Is that it? That's, was it good? Are you asking me on film or are you asking me? I'm asking you on film. Say it. Just say it. Yeah, you're done. It was great. Yeah, it was good? It was great. Okay, we can, okay, cool. Well, um, let's go do something. Okay. Yeah, something. Hey. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do that something thing thing.